Welcome, YouTube family. My name is Bobby Bully Williams, uh, and my co-host is Mr. Eddie Webb of the Phyllis Wheatley of 1959. Eddie, and we are live right here at the 1700 block of uh, Greg's. All right, Eddie, this is the original home of E.O. Smith. When you went to E.O. Smith, it had to be somewhere between, uh, uh, because you finished Wheatley in 59, so therefore, it must have been somewhere around 56 to 57. I finished. Uh, E.O. Smith in 56. Okay, now when you, so therefore when you finished E.O. Smith, Cashmere wasn't even born, it, it, it had was even... It was just coming in. Okay, they hadn't opened the school yet. No, they opened, they opened it in uh, 57. Right, so everybody from E.O. Smith in your class had an option to go to either Cash, E.O. Smith or Cashmere. I mean, a, either Cash, Wheatley. Or Cashmere. Okay, and that was the class of uh, E.O. Smith to win? 56. Okay. Because before then, everybody had to go to Wheatley. Everybody in Northside came to Wheatley. Okay, and everybody came to Yale Smith and Wheatley. Okay, so give us an idea of E.O. Smith during the during the three years you was there at E.O. Smith. E.O. Smith was a very popular school. You know, like you say, we were the only black uh, middle school at the time. They called it junior high. And everybody else was a uh, junior and senior, so it gave us a chance to group together. Mm -hmm. As a united three people, before we go to high school, we got a chance to come really close together. And that made it better because we weren't st stuck at one school for, for six years. Okay, now, uh, as we go and, and talk about E.O. Smith, by the way, we at this historical area, uh, area where the original Wheatley started out over here in the 3800 block of Lyons Avenue and the entrance came in on Greig Street. Yeah. When the E.O. Smith took over. Yes. Yeah, and uh, and we at the entrance of where E.O. Smith came in, which is at the corner of New Orleans and Griggs. That's it. And uh, and I'm talking to Mr. Mr. Eddie Webb, who finished, uh, is my co-host, he finished from uh, E.O. Smith in 1956, you said, Eddie? 56. And then he finished from Phyllis Wheatley in 1959. Now, when you, does elementary school, because uh, I did a thing on the black elementary schools that had been closed up in Third Ward. And uh, now we, we can, you know, since uh, uh, now, uh, all the elementary schools that used to feed in the Wheatley, now since E.O. Smith is closed, now they don't have a feeder school that can feed in the eels, feed in the Wheatley now. No, no more. Okay, and this is why we go in here. And as you can see, they tore it down. And as you can see in the background, they're building up. And as you can see, they got it fenced off, which we can understand that. <laughs> but now why they got it, well, they don't want you to see what they're doing, you know. Now that's letting you know something must be wrong. Why would HISD, and you pay your tax money, you can't come over here and see what they doing? Why they working? But, you know, it is what it is, but evidently, this is what's going on in the 1700 block of Griggs. Griggs. Well, once E.O. Smith used to be, now they finna build another new school, but it's not gonna be a middle school that's gonna be able to feed into Wheatley. No. So eventually, Wheatley look like they're trying to kill Wheatley the same way they're trying to do Yates. Well, they're killing Wheatley this way. Mm -hmm. They're really killing it. Because we do not have a feeder school in this area now. Okay. And that's what we're really concerned about. And uh, and that's the reason why we're here to, at this historical area out here in Fifth Ward. Uh, along with Mr. Eddie, or Eddie Webb, who finished uh, over here at E.O. Smith. And this right now is about right now, Eddie, I think, E.O. Smith. Because E.O. Smith is one of those schools that never really got the recognition like Wheatley. No, it didn't. And everything, and you and I know, everything that went through Wheatley came through E.O. Smith first. It had to come through E.O. Smith. And a lot of things that went through Cashmere had to come through E.O. E. Smith, Smith first. That's right. So that's why we're here trying to do this documentation of E.O. Smith, and especially with E.O. Smith not being here no more. They tore it down and they plan on building some kind of prep school or whatever they decide to do. But it's not a junior high school that's gonna be able to help Wheatley. No, it would be That's no. what we're talking about. What is this area right here in the 1700 block of Griggs, 3800 block of Lyons Avenue, what is it doing for Phyllis Wheatley now? We knew back in segregation how much this area meant to Wheatley. 
Now they have demolished this area. We have nothing to feed we live on this side. Not so, a thing. So therefore, if you can't get fed, eventually you die. Amen. Is this right, Eddie? That's right. <laughs> You're so, absolutely right. We enjoy this segment, Eddie, and I'm going to just give you a, a, a little opportunity because there's so much. Uh, and we want to also send a shout out for all the people on Facebook, including the Remember, the, the, the group called Remembering Fifth Ward. Uh, remember the nickel. That's the name of the group on Facebook. We want to thank y'all and we want to make sure that you young people get all the information about Fifth Ward that was available to us. And Eddie finished Wheatland 59, so he's older than me. He's teaching me a lot of things because I come from the south side. So, uh, and, and we didn't know a lot about E.O. Smith and Wheatley, no more than they had good football teams and great basketball teams. And kind of give me just a little bit about uh, the little time that you had at E.O. Smith before we start going around remembering Fifth Ward. Well, E.O. Smith was coming to where you got a chance to meet all these people from other parts of the t city. You first met them at E.O. Smith, because from every uh, uh, elementary school start feeding into we to E.O. Smith, that made you meet people in the way on the side. It's called it, call it uh, Bloody Fifth. Okay. Uh, well, and, and then we're going to go through the Bloody Fifth. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you had opportunity people to meet people from Cashmere Garden, mm -hmm. Trinity Garden, mm -hmm. City Gas. Everywhere. Pleasantville, Galena Park, Clinton Park. Everywhere you wanted to. Everywhere on the north side mm -hmm. had to come through E.O. Smith. Smith. Yes. You got chance, and that's where you made your relationship with people. Mm -hmm. They carried on to that Wheatley thing. Right. You started and, right here at E.O. Smith. Uh huh. And then it, and it even bonded. You know, it looked like when they put up Cashmere in '57, it even bonded. Uh, it even bonded Wheatley in with Cashmere because mm -hmm. most of y'all went to E.O. Smith <laughs> together. For a lot of us. Yeah. And Up so, until 56, everybody was going to Wheatley together. Uh, right. After that, that's when they uh, start zoning people. Well, see, yeah, right. So, thank you, Eddie. And one other little thing. You said y'all got along good. Wasn't no fighting. Wasn't no shooting. <laughs> wasn't no cutting up each other. Uh, no. We, wasn't we, no we, games. Just a and, loving family. And here's the part. This is the reason why we're doing so much about E.O. Smith. Facebook family and YouTube family because E.O. Smith used to have all these great talent shows and this is where you were discovered because Eddie, I, I mean I feel good YouTube family. <laughs> this guy he is like uh, Reverend Pastor Kirby John told him. He's a legend. Eddie, you and all the uh, guys as the master of the soul. People remember the masters of soul. I got Mr. Eddie Webb, and he finished up uh, Phyllis Wheatley in 1959, and that 1958 football season was his last uh, season, season of football there. Mm -hmm. And what a, what you might call a, a high school diploma <laughs> presentation <laughs> and a present that they gave you, the guys who was on that 58 team. They gave you a heck of a getaway present. Yeah, that's the best football team that has ever been associated with you. And just I you, think. Okay. Oh yeah. The the numbers already showed it. You know, <laughs> when you only when your defense only give up 16 points and your offense scored you 326 points, the numbers speak for itself. All right. Now uh, most of these guys, like you said, Eddie, everybody came through E.O. Smith. They went direct from E.O. Smith to a weekly. Yes. Especially during the 58 season. Yes. Okay. Now, this guy Clan Steele, what he did he from Fifth Ward? You no, know, by the Hest House, right around the corner from the Hest House. Okay. How about Raymond Hall? Raymond Hall is off of Low Rain in Fifth Ward. Okay. How about Ronald Frazier? Ronald Frazier's from Pleasantville. Okay. Then how about this guy uh Winston Reed? Winston Reed is from Fifth Ward. All right. How about Elliot Randall? From Fifth Ward. Okay. How about this guy Johnson Brock? Johnson Brock with Pleasantville. All right. Wesley Frazier. Wesley Frazier from Pleasantville. All right. 
And how about Alfred Pickens? Alfred Pickens, Kelly Cords. All uh, right. How about George McNeil? George McNeil, Fifth Ward. All uh, right. How about uh, Lemay? Is that how you spell uh, Lemuel Cox? Lemuel Cox. Lemuel Cox. From Hardy Street. Okay. And how about James Taylor? James Taylor from Hardy Street. Uh, okay. And how about B.W. Cheeks? B.W. Cheeks, Fifth Ward. Okay. How about this guy, Frank Brown? Frank Brown, Fifth Ward. All right. How about Edwin Bay? Edwin Bay, Fifth Ward. Charles Cheeks. Charles Cheeks, Fifth Ward. Okay, Green Newman. Over oh, about a about a hairstyle, Fifth Ward though. All right. Lyndon Ashley. Lyndon Ashley is over there by right there by Weeding. Fifth on Ward. The, on the feeder, he's Fifth Ward. Okay. Johnson Bedford. Bedford was from Fifth Ward. All right. Charles Taylor. Charles Taylor from Fifth Ward. All right, and then we go down here to Sidney Williams. Sidney Williams come out of Pearl Harbor in Fifth Ward. All right, and then we're going down here to uh, Roland Goodlow. Clinton Park. All right, Leo Mannion. Leo Mannion, Fifth Ward. Okay, uh, Jael Mac McCarter. McCarter, Gerald McCarter. Mm-hmm. Uh, Quitman Street boy, Fifth Ward. All right, Leroy Williams. Fifth Ward. Ray High. Fifth Ward. And uh, uh, Solomon Mac Ledoux. Solomon Ledoux. Ledoux, okay. Okay, Fifth Ward. Okay, Paul McLean. Come from Pearl Harbor, Fifth All right. Ward. John Johnson. Uh, Kelly Coates, Fifth, Fifth Ward. Okay, and the last but least, Woodrow Lee. Woodrow Lee, come out of Pearl Harbor in Fifth Ward. All right, now, that is the whole <laughs> roster of the Phyllis Wheatley 1958. And we want to make sure that these guys get their recognition. That's why I'm so grateful to have Mr. Eddie Webb because he knew all of those guys, as you see, where they came from, Fifth Ward, Pleasantville, uh, Clinton, Park. Uh, Clinton Park. And we want to thank you so much, Mr. Eddie Webb, for being our co-host and being with us on this segment we're going to put on YouTube called Remembering the Fifth Ward, better known as the Nickel. Thank you. And uh, we're going to take a walk around E.O. Smith and let y'all see how they fenced off everything. And I'm not going to be nosy and get in the HISD <laughs> district and, and put no camera over there. So we ain't, we're going to let that alone. But we will show you that they got it fenced off. And if they wanted you to know what they were doing, they wouldn't be hiding. So I'm going to let it like this. Thank you. Y'all used to enter E.O. Smith in 1956 when you came, when you started for here. What elementary school did you go to now? Crawford. Okay, so you came from Crawford to E.O. Smith. Yes. Okay. All right, and we walking around okay. here. Okay. Right in here, right in here was the entrance into the school. Okay, right here? Yeah, was the entrance into the school. Okay, okay. And now, as we continue to, as you can see, they got the pissed off, but, mm -hmm. you know, we can still zoom over there anyway. But this is what they're doing. They're building on the school. All right? And this is where they're coming at. Come yeah. on. Yeah. All this was, was office building from this end to this end. Was the office? Yeah, and the auditorium was right behind the office building. Okay. All right. And we're walking right along. And this was classrooms on this end down here. Okay. Yeah. Right now, we're on the corner of Briggs and Lyons Avenue, where E.O. Smith once was. Houston School District got it now. Say, we are building for the future, and thank you for your support. But they never told you what the future was about. So, Eddie, where we was back in the day, in 1956 at E.O. Smith, when you were going to school right here on the corner of Lyons and Griggs, what was really going on in 1956, Eddie? It was a great damn thing in 56 for we did. Because everything that projected to go to we did came from E.O. Smith. So we all used to just group up around here and, and have fun because we know it was a bigger mission for us to get to Wheatley. Okay, thank you. Before they built uh, Cashmere Garden, look at some of the, Eddie, name off some of these guys. All these are musicians who went Joe, to Wheatley. Joe Sample. Let's start, hold, let's go. Let's don't, let's don't rush through these people. Okay. This is who, Mr. Joe Sample? From the Crusaders. Okay, from the Jazz Crusaders, right? Okay, that's okay. it. Okay, and come on down the road. This is Willie Mae Thornton. Big Mama Thornton? The hound dog. Oh, no. Yeah. No, they didn't. <laughs>